And to be honest, the clinic, the service is so bad, especially the nurses and the doctor, because the guy is such a jerk. The service is so bad that it makes the VA hospital, the one that my dad goes to, it makes the VA hospital look like a five-star hospital. That's how bad the clinic is. You know what I mean? Every time I go, I got to wait at least an hour. The service is terrible. The attitude's terrible. I feel like the waiting room's too small. The parking lot's too small. It's in the hood. And you know when you're in a bad area of Long Beach, like there's bars on the window of the house, bars on the window of the clinic, fences around the house. Um, I felt bad because I saw a few homeless people just sleeping on the street. Then I saw just random people just walking around the street, just lingering. Then I saw like a ghetto, like purple car with like gold rims with loud, loud hip hop music. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. And then after I was at the doctor's office for like an hour to an hour and a half, I was there for a long, long time. Then I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up my prescriptions, but they're like, oh, well, you have to wait an hour because I guess at the pharmacy, a lot of people got sick. So there was only two people waiting. So I waited over an hour, over an hour. And the service was bad. And I felt bad for the people at the pharmacy because, you know, they can't help it. They're doing the best that they can. But today was just such a bad day. It was so frustrating. Like me needing to go to the doctor. I left the house at 940 and then waiting at the doctor, and then waiting at the pharmacy. I didn't get home until almost one. And then when I went to the pharmacy, you know how they have pharmacies and stores, and there were shortages. Like my favorite toothpaste, they didn't have it. The bakery section, they didn't have a lot of cakes, cupcakes, cookies, a lot of the freezer.